It's in human nature to try and make a task as easy as possible. And with the help of various life hacks, websites, and lists, it's only getting easier for people to get lazier. Here's the good, the bad, and the ugly sides of lazy people from around the world. Amazing! Code Hanger iPad Holder Bunk Bed Usually what happens when children get made to share a room with bunk beds is there is a fight over who gets the top bunk, so they can be king of the castle. However, with the help of a couple of coat hangers, the bottom bunk is much improved, like a bizarre episode of Pimp My Ride. Driving the Bin When it comes to litter disposal, people seem to drum up the laziest ways of getting around the boring task. I get that many people keep their bins on the driveway ready for collection, but to drive your bin to the end of it is quite possibly one of the most unnecessarily lazy things I've ever seen. I'd also like to point out, it probably takes longer. Reckless U-Turn This is by far the ugliest entry in the video. Where most examples are quite funny and show the ingenuity and adaptation skills humans have used to survive for many years, this one is genuinely dangerous. A lorry drive pulled this crazy U-turn on the A3 near Guildford for no other reason than to save himself a bit of time after he ended up going the wrong way. Seems to me like this guy is a well-rounded idiot. Charger Handset Gone are the days of the Bluetooth earpiece. Well, for those of us that don't have iPhone 7s. However, those are an unnecessary device to have when you have a brain like this guy. If you've got a long day of taking phone calls ahead of you, just dangle the phone over your ear using the charger and you've got yourself on hands-free. I'd advise you not to try this while charging your Samsung Galaxy, though. Sideways TV The gamers are at it again, but this time it's quite a throwback. This clever chap has managed to get around the problem of having to get out of bed to play games and tip the TV on the side so he can play it from his sleeping position. I feel sorry for whoever has to put that monstrous TV upright again, though. Hoodie Popcorn Holder Food and laziness go hand in hand. I mean, let's face it, no one eats microwave meals for the taste. This use of a hood is quite possibly the biggest thing to happen to food since sliced bread, but I can imagine he might end up with greasy hair if it started to rain later on. Amazon Undies Redditor Dennis Cock found himself down to his last pair of underwear and, like many people, wasn't excited about having to do his laundry. He managed to get around this by staying in the comfort of his own home and ordering himself a new pair on Amazon for the next day. I just hope he didn't wet himself with excitement when the delivery showed up. Canwich Baby Mom Many of the things in this video I would go as far as describing as some level of genius, but these two are just downright ridiculous. If you are struggling to pull up the effort to make a sandwich, you really are pretty lazy. But fortunately for you, there is the Canwich, a product that featured in our Strangest Canned Foods video. The second incredibly lazy product also featured in one of our videos, but this time featured in our Funniest Stupid Product Ideas video. The Baby Mop is both cruel and lazy, and if you can't be bothered to mop the floor yourself, maybe it might be time that someone took your baby and its mop away from you. Trolleys out of the station. Going for a food shop is one of the boring necessities of adult life, and a big part of that is using a trolley responsibly. The people who are responsible for this picture clearly aren't ready for that weight on their shoulders yet, but the joke's on them. I bet you one pound that they never got their one pound trolley deposit back. Sitting on the chair box. Over the course of their life, people sit on all sorts of things. Benches and chairs tend to be the main place you sit, but arms of sofas also work when they need to. But for the lazy people in the world who have just been and bought a chair to sit on, there is the box it comes in. Toilet Roll Floor For some reason, the cardboard center of toilet rolls has found its main other use as the brick used to create the everyman's pyramid next to the toilet. For those that can't muster up the effort to construct one of these masterpieces, there is the floor. Lazy Firefighter If you had a fire in your house, you'd call the fire brigade and get the fire put out. I'm sure it wouldn't fill you with confidence if the person that has come round to put out the fire puts in the same amount of effort that you did to ensure your house didn't go up in flames. 
Bin chute poster tube. The garbage chute is something I've never actually seen or known to exist, but a luxury I would love to have living in a 10th floor apartment. However, the luxury was taken out of it and replaced with a beautiful cardboard poster tube by tomato ketchup and beer. Not luxurious, but certainly some level of genius. Glass table iPhone holder. The older generation seem to have a problem with so-called millennials in our lazy ways, and after seeing this picture, I think they might have a point. The phrase smashing through the glass ceiling comes to mind. However, in this instance, it's smashing your head into a glass table, which doesn't sound quite as tempting to me. All joking aside though, this is a pretty handy trick considering the number of times people drop their phones on their faces in bed. Paying sister to brush teeth. A thread on Reddit was made for users to share their stories of laziness, but one that really caught my eye was Chimichanga Mischief, who paid his little sister $5 to brush his teeth for him. I just really hope that she draws the line at teeth brushing and doesn't wipe his bum for $10. Painting over shit. I can imagine this person going to work and their boss telling them to cut the crap, and I couldn't blame them for this amazing display. Touching poo isn't an ideal job for anyone, but painting over it really goes to the extreme of not wanting to do that. Credit where it's due though, it is a very good line. Doorstop in the package. If you walk into a student flat, you'll probably witness some pretty clever doorstopping techniques. From spoons to folded cardboard, I don't think there's many things that haven't been used to prop a door open. None of them, however, are as lazy or stupid as using a doorstop that you can't be bothered to take out of the packaging. I bet this is the kind of person that needs the help of the lazy firefighter from the earlier photo. Noodle Fan It's no secret that foods such as pot noodles are the lazy person's best friend. However, this invention genuinely takes that laziness to whole new levels. If you can't be bothered to use the same mouth you're about to eat the noodles with to cool your noodles, you'll be glad to know that someone has invented a noodle fan to cool your noodles for you. Think of yourself as quite a lazy person? Let us know what you've done in the comments section. If you can be bothered, that is.